Maybe you've used Linux before, but this could be your first time running FreeDOS. Well, today's video is for you. We're going to go over a couple of commands that you can run in FreeDOS coming from the perspective of someone who's used Linux. So let's get started. Uh, now, the first thing I'd want to do under Linux to uh, see the files and directories uh, from wherever I am, uh, I would use the ls command, and that just gives me a listing uh, of files and directories. It's a different command under FreeDOS, and that command is dir, and that'll show me a listing of the files and directories in the current directory. That's where dir comes from, dir for directory. Uh, here you can see a couple of things. One is that uh, FreeDOS is uh, going to show all these files in uppercase. Uh, it turns out uh, uh, FreeDOS and all DOS systems uh, are case insensitive. So I could type any of those file names uh, as uppercase or lowercase. Uh, another thing is it's going to show me uh, the default uh, output for DIR. It's going to show me all the different uh, details of those files and directories. Uh, if I wanted to see, uh, uh, and that by the way is um, very similar to the ls-l command. Um, and if I wanted to see something closer to the ls command, I need to pass an option to dir. And that's going to be uh, dir slash w. And that's uh, w means wide. It's going to be a wide listing. And so you can see here I've got a, uh, a listing of uh, everything in my root directory. Uh, getting around uh, is the same under FreeDOS as it is under Linux, and that's using the uh, cd command. So if I wanted to go into the fdos directory, just do cd fdos, uh, and I can do a directory there as well. Um, now I've been doing a lot of typing. If I wanted to clear the screen under Linux, I would just type the clear command. Uh, it's a different command under uh, FreeDOS. It's uh, cls. Uh, now let's look at some. Let's look at a file. So let's back up one directory. Oops, back up one directory. That's uh, similar, by the way, for uh, FreeDOS as it is under uh, Linux. Under Linux, dot is always the current directory. Dot dot is always the previous directory. So let's do another uh, dir, and uh, let's look at that autoexec.bat file. Um, now let's. If I were under Linux, I would use the cat command. Uh, on autoexec.bat, and that would concatenate the uh, different files together and print them usually to the screen. Uh, it's a different command under FreeDOS, and that is uh, type. Uh, that's a completely different command under uh, Linux. Linux, the type command is going to show you the different types of files that, you're, that you have. Uh, here, the type command is going to print the contents of that uh, file usually to the screen. So let's go ahead and type autoexec.bat. At. And you can see that's, that's quite a long file. Uh, there's a lot there. Um, if I wanted to see uh, that, that file one screen at a time, well, under Linux, I'd probably uh, use the less command. Uh, it turns out, that, uh, you know, uh, less is actually uh, an updated version of another Unix command uh, called more, right? Less is more. That's where that comes from. Uh, and more is the um, uh, command that we'd want to use. So if I wanted to uh, look at the autoexec bat file one screen at a time, I would just type more uh, autoexec dot bat. And you can see it's going to show me the contents of that file when it reaches the bottom of the page. It's going to, uh, I can just hit space uh, to keep going and then space to keep going. And so that shows me everything in that file. Now, um, Let's uh, let's do another dir, and uh, the fdos directory has a lot of different directories under it. If I wanted to see everything that was in it, uh, well, under Linux, I would use a command called tree. And if I wanted to see just the directories, I would give it an option tree-d. Uh, and I would just type tree-d on uh, fdos. Very similar command under FreeDOS. In fact, I, I think the tree command on Linux was borrowed from DOS. So uh, here is just tree um, on whatever directory we want to look at. And so we want to look at the fdos directory. And you can see that's going to show me all the different directories that live underneath the fdos directory. Quite a long listing. Uh, might be a bit of a pain to uh, run that all the time. If I wanted to save that output to a file, um, I would want to do uh, tree. Uh, on fdos, and I'll uh, save that into a file. Same thing under FreeDOS as under Linux, uh, where you use the greater than to redirect the output uh, into a file. And here I'm going to call it uh, tree.txt. And that's just going to rerun the command um, and store the output into the tree.txt. Uh, again, I can uh, look at the contents of that file uh, under Linux. It would be cat 
under uh, FreeDOS, it's going to be uh, type tree.txt, and you can see again that's going to be um, uh, all the all the directories that live underneath the fdos directory. Uh, let's say uh, I wanted to uh, see all the different uh, instances of, of a bin directory. You can see near the bottom of the uh, of the listing, I've got a bin directory. But what other what, what other things out there have bin in their name? Uh, and I would do uh, under Linux if I wanted to do that. I would I would uh, pipe the output of uh, the the uh, the cat command right it was normally cat and I'd pipe it into uh, something usually uh, grep uh, if I wanted to look at um, uh, regular expressions if I didn't want to do regular expressions I'd use uh, fgrep which is fast grep same concept by the way you're going to use uh, that uh, that vertical bar that pipe uh, to send output from one command to another uh, here again instead of cat we're going to do type uh, and we're going to do a type on tree.txt and we're going to send the output to another command uh, again it's not going to be fgrep uh, if i wanted to find the strings um, i'm going to use the command called find that's a completely different command under Linux, by the way. Find is a way to um, look for files and directories uh, starting somewhere here. We're just going to find strings uh, from an in input. Uh, so we're going to find uh, all instances of bin. Uh, and here you can see I've got an exe to bin directory, which is uh, underneath the doc directory. And I've got the bin directory itself. Now I've been going through a lot of commands, and that may, might be a lot to remember. Uh, if I wanted to uh, make this easier on myself under Linux, I would use uh, the alias command to uh, create aliases for one command to actually do something else. Same thing under FreeDOS. So if I wanted to do an alias on the ls command, every time I wanted to type ls, I wanted to make it uh, do a, a dir slash w, I just type alias ls equals dir slash w. And now you can see that anytime I type ls, I'm actually getting the same output as if I typed dir slash w. And to see a list of all the aliases I already have defined, um, under Linux I would just type alias, same thing here, just type alias and it gives you a list of all the different aliases we have defined. Um, and you can see we already defined for you as part of FreeDOS 1.2 uh, several helpful aliases that let you, for example, reboot your computer, uh, do a reset, uh, shut it down, things like that. So if you want to shut down the computer, uh, just type shut down and that'll uh, bring your FreeDOS system uh, to a close. And I'll stop there. So uh, was that helpful looking at uh, different commands to, uh, to run on FreeDOS coming from, from uh, the Linux world? Uh, hit up our webpage at freedos.org. Also, uh, follow us on Facebook, uh, join us on Twitter, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.